Hey everybody, we have another multiple choice question here to work on from the 2014 Math 8 SOL test. Let's go ahead and take a look at this question. It says that the radius of the base of a cone is 6 inches and the height of the cone is 6 inches and it's asking us to find to the closest, which one of these answers is the closest to the volume of the cone. So let's go ahead and draw a picture of our cone. So a cone has kind of a, a circular base to it with kind of a triangle on top of it, right? So that's that's the idea of a cone. And it said that the, the radius of the base of the cone is six inches. So this is a actually a circle circular base and it says that this radius here is six inches. It also tells us that the height of the cone, so this distance right here, is six inches as well. And with that information, we're asked to find the volume of the cone. Well, in order to do that, we need the volume formula. And if this were an actual SOL test, you would be given a formula sheet that has the volume formula for a cone on it. And that volume formula looks like this. For a cone, you have to multiply one-third times pi r squared times the height. So, given the information they provide in this answer, or this question, we're going to find one-third of pi times r squared. Well, they told us the radius was 6, so I'm going to square 6 times the height, well, they told us the height was 6, so I'm going to multiply by 6, and that kind of gets my setup complete. Now I need to actually carry out the operation. Since all of these things are simply being multiplied together, I have 1 third being multiplied to 3.14, we'll round pi off a little bit there, being multiplied to 6 squared, 6 squared is 6 times 6, or 36. And then the last thing being multiplied by the 6 at the end, the height. So to finish it off, let's get out our trusty calculator and go ahead and multiply all these things together. So 1 third would be 1 divided by 3, and we multiply that by 3.14, and then we multiply that by 36, and then we multiply that by 6. That gives us an answer of 226.08, and in this case, since we have unit inches, we have inches, and since we're founding the volume, it's always whatever our unit is cubed. And to look at the possible answers up here, it looks like 226 cubic inches, is the closest to the answer that we got. All right, so how might students make mistakes in this particular problem? Well, I feel the, the formula, since it's given to you, that shouldn't be the problem. But possibly how you calculate the information that's in the formula could be the problem. When you find 1 third times 3.14 times 36 times 6, you're plugging all of that information into a calculator and very often when you put stuff in a calculator, when you push those buttons, you make mistakes. So it's my strong recommendation that when you're when you're actually solving this problem, you go you plug it into your calculator more than once to make sure that the answer that you get in the end is indeed the correct answer. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.